here's a metaphor we all know, the idea of the tip of the iceberg. Even though most of us have never seen an iceberg before in real life, we can all imagine that beneath the waterline is a whole majestic mountain of ice. It's an idea that challenges us to imagine and understand beyond what is immediately visible to us. When we think of the economy, we have all kinds of associations. Wall Street, business leaders, manufacturing, restaurants, retail, agriculture. What if I told you that all of that is just the tip of the iceberg and that there's a vast expanse of economic activity underneath what we see that is the foundation of everything else? And that foundation is care. It's obvious on one level, people power the economy, human beings. From the CEOs, to the managers, to the workers and consumers, it's all people. And people have families. And all of us rely on care. From the time we are born to the time we leave this earth, we rely upon the care of our parents, our caregivers, our domestic workers, our child care and direct care workers, Care is a universal need across age, culture, and ability. But for most of human history, we have separated what we think of as productive, real economic activity from our caregiving. It doesn't count in the same way. Globally, 16.2 billion hours are spent in unpaid care work every single day, which, if paid a minimum wage, would amount to $11 trillion per year. Access to child care, to care for older people or disabled people, makes it possible for all of us to participate in the economy. But as it remained below the waterline of what we see and what we value, in the economy. Held quietly by overstretched, unpaid caregivers in our families, or underpaid women working as care workers who earn poverty wages. Women like Susie Rivera, who has cared for older people in New Braunfels, Texas, since she was 19 years old, and sees it as her life's calling. During the pandemic, she worked 80 hours per week, making sure her clients were safe, that they had support, medication, food, and supplies, and most importantly, that they knew they were not alone. In the United States, 20% of care workers live in poverty. And about 5 million children in the US will lose their childcare at the end of this month because pandemic rescue funds for childcare have not been renewed. Around the world, through all the changes in our culture and in our economy, and living through a global pandemic even, care remains undervalued and largely unsupported. As developed nations grapple with growing aging populations, as working parents grapple with the need for childcare, and all of us in the sandwich generation struggle with both, the demand for care workers is exploding making care jobs among the fastest growing occupations in countries like the United States. And by the year 2030, the number of people worldwide predicted to be in need of care will reach 2.3 billion. The lack of access to care is one of the biggest drivers of inequality that no one talks about pushing women in and out of the workforce, trapping workers in poverty, forcing people into poverty to qualify for services, and it's only going to get worse. Our failure to see what's below the waterline has created a global care crisis. But the headline here today is not crisis, it's opportunity. We have a once-in-a-generation opportunity to invest in care, in child care, in paid leave, in aging and disability care, in an economic model where we generate agency and dignity throughout the iceberg. We could create millions of good new care jobs that won't be outsourced or automated, 
jobs that will not only support the workers in those jobs and their families, but all of us who rely on their work, allowing us all to participate in the workforce with the peace of mind, while knowing that the people in our lives who matter the most are supported to live healthy, full lives, and ensuring, importantly, that our caregivers are cared for too. Care is the foundation of the economy, and investing in care is what will make an abundant future truly possible around the world. Thank you. Thank you.